they're doing with it, great. I mean, there's 19 people. We thank you for it, and we love you guys for downloading the app. And it's, like I said, it's for us to encourage you each and every week. It's not for us. It's for you guys. Technically, it is for us. It's for us to encourage you with. So it is for us in that aspect. But if you don't download it and only one person does and that one person is blessed by it, then thank you. We've done our job. Sorry, I had to take a drink for a minute there. But it's for us to encourage you each and every week. So we got the new download button. You can download the app straight from the uh, download the episode straight from the app. And I've tested it. It works really good. It works wonderful. Just be aware the first time you first time you guys use the app, you have you can have some slight glitches every once in a while because that's that's just about with any app when you first use it. But once you use it, you log out of the app and log back in, then all those glitches are gone. Then all those glitches are finished, and you don't have anything else anymore happening with the app. And if you do, just let us know by going to communitycloud two 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 gmail dot com. Send us a voicemail as well, or just go into the Play Store or the Amazon App Store and let us know through that as well that you have an issue with the app and let us know what it is and we will correct that is ASAP as soon as possible as we can. Because, you know, we're busy people and people are always busy, so we'll get to that as soon as we can. But we are going to tighten up that app for the play buttons today and it's going to be running smooth and you guys are going to enjoy it. With that being said, guys... Um. I had another announcement that I can't remember what the announcement was now. Because I had two. I had the play, I had the uh, the app, and then I had one more brief announcement that I don't remember now. Probably I added the download button to it. But with that being said, oh, here is, I just remember because I was going to, was, I was thinking to myself, we got to get into a song next. And here is the last announcement. I finally worked out getting the music from Reverend Dudley Smith onto the computer so we can have his music playing as well. So we're going to play some of him today. But it's weird because I'm not sure why he did it. Nothing against the guy. I mean, he is, I love him for giving me the opportunity to play some of his music. Nothing against him or anything, but I'm not sure why he did it, but he put the music on there as a .cda file. And what that technically means is, here's what a .cda is. When you take and you, say you go to your computer and you take and you take an MP3 and you create a shortcut and you put it on your uh, your desktop area. So every time you go to your desktop, excuse me, excuse me again, guys. I don't know what's going on. The devil's not want me speaking today. He's trying to give me all kinds of ghastly uh, stuff going on in my body. Devil, you back off in Jesus' name. <laughs> but he, when you go to put a shortcut on your uh, your uh, desktop, when you click on that shortcut, it still takes you to the music. It Stakes still takes you to the song, but that shortcut is not a song. That shortcut is just a shortcut to a piece of audio on your computer. Well, that's what he did. He put a shortcut to the uh, to an, to an audio file on the actual computer. I'm, I mean, on the actual CD. So it still works in the CD player, but it's just a shortcut to the audio file. So it's not an actual audio file. So I had to rip it from. Windows Media Player, and then I had to rip it and then put it to my thumb drive and test everything, but it works. It works beautifully. The only one problem I have, and I had to write down some music titles on my little notepad today because for some reason, like track three, that well, it says track three on the show, it's called Can't Feel at Home Anymore from Dudley Smith. Well, I put that title on there. I named it Can't Feel at Home Anymore. And when I go to play that, it reverts to track three instead of its actual name. Two CDs do that, two CDs do not. So I don't know why they do or don't. I just know it does. But with that being said, it's okay. It is it is okay that it does that because I ran it down and I got it on here for the songs that he does that are on the list that are tracks instead of the name. So I won't know what the name is by looking at it. One says Untitled. And it says DS right on there. 
and then one says track three so i don't know why it does that but it does what it does so with that being said guys let's get into a piece of music today we're going to do one that i feel led to do right now simply entitled jesus my lord and my life by none other than dr prophet larry around then we'll get into the message after that so let's do jesus my lord and my life by none other than dr prophet larry orell enjoy jesus my lord and my life That, once again, guys, was Jesus, my Lord, and my life by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry O'Rell. And with that being said, guys, and, and it's as true as can be, and, and my co-host will, well, he, brother over there, will contest to this, that it is only Jesus. It's, Jesus is my Lord and my life. And without Jesus in your life and being Lord in your life, you can't go nowhere. So it is Jesus. You're nothing. You're life. nothing without the Lord in your life. Oh, you're absolutely nothing. And we're going to get into that too in a minute because we're going to get ahead of ourselves. But you're absolutely, he's right though. You're absolutely nothing without God in your life. Uh, there's the wisest man in the Bible. I think his name was Solomon. I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong if you know this too. But he says, I have everything. I have seven. 70 concubines i have 70 virgins i have all the money i can want i have everything yeah that's solomon and i'm going to paraphrase it because he says but i do not have the love of god or in paraphrasing form i do not have the lord of my life i have everything i want 
every single thing in the world that I could ever want, but I have not got the Lord in my life. And just like the old, the old story about King Midas, about how everything he touched turned to gold. He prayed, he goes, he goes, I want everything I touch turned to gold. I want everything I touch. You made a wish that everything he touched turned to gold. And what happened? He gave his daughter a hug and she turned to gold. <laughs> With that being said, not that it's a funny scenario, but it's just, you got to be careful what you speak and what you say and what you do. Because like we say, without the Lord in your, in your life, you're, you're nothing. You're nothing without God. Because God made you to begin with. And if you disown God and you blaspheme God, you won't go to heaven, number one. Number two, if you blaspheme God, you're telling God, like, I don't need you. You created me, but I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. And that's not right. You don't, as the old saying goes, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. You don't, you don't bite the hand that gave you life, that breathed life into your nostrils. You don't do that to somebody like that. That is just, you don't do that to anybody, period. I wouldn't even do that to my own mom. If for whatever reason I didn't like my mom, which I do, I love my mom to, to life. I love my mom to bits and pieces. My mom is the greatest mom ever. Don't get me wrong. She's not, you know, like like me and my, my brother over here and my wife. She's not exactly as Christian as we are. and She don't always go to church and she don't always do things that is right with God. But I still love her no matter what. And mom, trust me, I love you no matter what. But with that being said, just because she doesn't, doesn't mean I don't love her, and I still do. But if you don't got God in your life, you're doing all this stuff, you're basically telling God that I don't love you. I don't need you, and I don't want you. So we can't do that. We cannot do that with God because that's just not right. I wouldn't even do that with my own mom. Like I said before, I wouldn't do it with my own mom. But without Christ in your life, without God in your life, and that should have been added to this message, but it wasn't. Without God in your life, you're dead. You're dead in every situation. There's only one way that you need to die. Is you need to die to self. The Bible says die to yourself daily. So you need to die to self daily. You need to check that heart every day and say, Lord, every day wake up. Am I right with you today? Did I do something? Did I dream about something I shouldn't have that I don't know I did? Did I say something yesterday? Did I think something yesterday? Did I look at that woman down the road again yesterday? What Did I watch a TV program I shouldn't watch too much or longer than I should have. I am, I am so, so into, so uh, talking about myself at this moment. Because uh, there are times when I've watched, even recently watched TV programs I probably should not have watched, but I watched them only because you know it's what I used to do. And when you get into used to doing something, you get into doing it still a little bit, even though you don't do it no more. So it's it's a struggle some days, but I I watch some stuff sometimes, not you know pornography or anything to that degree, but just TV programs in general. Like I used to love soap operas. Now I don't watch those no more, but there was a a teen soap opera that I used to watch before that I was I was looking at the old reruns. They no longer make the show. Thank God for that reason. I'd be glued to my screen, but I no longer they no longer make the episodes anymore, which is good for that. But I watched one of my little shows I used to watch, and I shouldn't have because you know it's just pure, just pure rotten evil what's going on in the shows and stuff. But I mean, I watched it and I shouldn't have, but God forgave me for it and forgive me, Lord, for doing so. Now, if that is wrong with God, then God, you let me know that. And devil, you back off. You have no reign authority over this in Jesus' name, Amen. But we're gonna pray real quick, Lord. We come to you. Uh, to learn your word today, Lord, as the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the sons and daughters of God, not the body of or the family of TGIF, but the family of Christ, the family of God. We come to learn about you, Lord, to learn about what you have to speak to your children today. And for those who are going to come in, Lord, that are not your children right now, but that will be your children, we pray lord that you use this word and as i'm praying guys i'm going to add some i'm going to give some uh links to some people to tune in but we we ask you lord to even to those people who are coming in later on during the show lord that they can be blessed and edified along with us during this word lord that we can help 
even just edify them. Because, Lord, we need to know more about you. Open up our spiritual eyes and our spiritual ears that we may see.